Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here, obviously. Gonna do a kind of get ready with me style. It's been a little bit since I've actually done um, one of those. So before we get started, don't forget to follow me on my other social media outlets. I'll leave all that link down below as well as all the products that I use in this video. So definitely check that out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like these kinds of like get ready with me videos, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to get ready with me, then let's just hop in. All right, so first I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes. I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just going to pop that on. And the trash man is here. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that concealer. You can use any um, any light colored shadow or a translucent powder. So to start out in the crease, I'm gonna be taking the Carly Bible palette. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here on a Morphe E30. I'm just going to buff that in the crease really well. Next, to deepen that up a little bit more, I'm going to take this shade right here on a Morphe M505 and I'm going to apply that in the crease as well as the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to do that same thing with this shade right here on a clean M505. I'm gonna take that same shade on a E14 and just uh, pack that on the outer corner a little bit more for just for a little bit more depth. All right, now I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible uh, shadow in Glistening Garnet. I love these shadows. I think they're so pretty. So I'm gonna go back to that outer portion of the lid and pack on a little bit more. So before I finish up the rest of the eyeshadow, I'm going to curl my lashes, coat them with mascara, and then I'm going to top them with these uh, Kiss lashes. They are the Poise style. Wispy, kind of natural, you know, as natural as a lash can be. Um, I just didn't want to take away from the eyeshadow, so that's why I'm going to do that.
All right, so lashes are on. Now I'm going to go in with a smoothing primer. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and I'm just going to apply that to my problem areas. This is definitely still my all-time favorite primer. I love pore filling primers, probably because I have craters for pores. <laughs> All right, so for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation in the shade 6.0. Now this may be just a little too dark for me, but we will work with it. For concealer, I'm gonna go back in with that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. Ooh. So I really love this concealer. My only complaint is, is that the doe foot is actually kind of rough. I mean, it's rough in comparison to the Urban Decay um, doe foot, but I love how big the doe foot applicator is. And it is, it's super full coverage. Um, it's a little hard to blend out. So I find that it obviously blends out better with a sponge, but I really, really like it. So to set all that, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick and then we will finish up the eyes and move on to the face. All right, so brows are done. So for the brow highlight, I'm going to take Makeup Geeks Shimma Shimma and I'm going to take that on a Real Techniques shading brush. I'm gonna use that same shade for the inner corner highlight. So underneath the eyes, I'm going to keep it pretty simple, but I am going to go in with this shade right here on a pencil brush and we'll just buff that underneath. So for bronzing and a little bit of contouring, I'm going to be using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. To contour, I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe E8. I don't like to contour like big time. Um, I usually just like to warm up my face. Um, but for this video's sake, I'm going to just hollow out my cheekbones first. I just like to take it from the start of my ear to about where um, my eye, the corner of my eye is. And then I just blend up. I also like to bring it up up here and right here just to kind of make my forehead look a little smaller and then up on my hairline I also like to take it on my jawline for that like you know look get rid of that double chin and then blend down. I 
I personally like to take it under my lip as well. I like to pinch the brush like this and just slightly like right in that crease there just to make my lip look a little poutier. Then another personal preference, I like to contour my nose a little. So I just take it on the sides. For blush, I'm gonna take this Kat Von D, um, I believe they're called, what is it? Shade and Light Blush. This is in Piot, Piaf, and Poe, I don't know. I know that these are like discontinued, but I found this at DJ Maxx, so, and it was like super cheap, like $5.99. So I just like to swirl them around like so, mix the two together. And for highlight, I'm going to be taking Becca Opal. I'm going to take that on a Morphe M501. So to blend that all together, I'm gonna to use a stippling brush. For lipstick, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick. I'm gonna take it, it's in the shade Wine Room. And to set all those powders down, I'm going to take the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope that you loved it. I love this kind of berry look for fall. I think that it's really pretty. And I tried to stay out of like the super orangey, browny warms. And I wanted to go with something like this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media account. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.